Let's write the structural formula for one butene. The molecular formula, that's C4H8. But the molecular formula, that really doesn't tell us how these atoms are bonded together. So what we want is the structural formula. So you note that this ends in ENE, -E, one butene. ENE, -E, that means that we have an alkene and we're going to have this double bond here between carbons. The but, that tells us that we'll have four carbons. So we have four carbons with a double bond, and then the one, that tells us where we're going to find the double bond in our one butene structural formula. So here's our four carbon chain. This is butane because this is an alkane. We only have single bonds. Remember, butene's going to have a double bond. And that double bond's going to go on the first carbon. We can't put it right here because all of these lines here, they go to hydrogen atoms. Hydrogens can only have one bond. So the double bond here in one butene, that goes right here. And since each carbon can only be bonded to four things, we do need to get rid of one of these hydrogens here. So now this carbon has four bonds. All of the carbons are bonded to four things. This is the structural formula for one butene. We have four carbons, that's the but, and the ENE is the double bond and it's on the first carbon. If you wanted to look at a molecular model of this, that would look like this here. So you can see the double bond between the carbons here, and then we have the chain of four. You could also write a skeletal structure, and that would look like this. Note that when we have double bonds, we need to think about cis and trans isomerism. However, because the double bond, it's on that first carbon here, we don't have geometric isomerism with one butene. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for one butene. Thanks for watching.